So what we do first is we're going to separate the hair. The, the hair comes in bundles. So we're going to take the hair and we're going to separate the hair. And we're going to separate the hair into, the, into little um, lock units, right? And our units are going to look like this. These are our units. This is stage one. So the way we separate the hair is we figure out how big we want our lock to be. And we separate the hair. So I already know how big and thick I want my locks to be. So I just take my hair, separate it, make sure it's full. And I twist it and counterclockwise. This is like a little too much hair in terms of length because it stretch when you stretch it, it becomes longer. I'll show you how to stretch the hair to make it become longer. So I'll separate the hair in little lock bundles. So you pull all the hair together, get it, bring it to like a little, you know, oblong ball, same density throughout, and then you just twist opposite directions. It might unravel a little bit, but that's okay. Like I said, I already know how big I want my locks to be. I use the standard size that I like, but you can make your like lock bigger or smaller depending on your taste. Opposite directions. They don't have to be perfect. You just want them to have the same consistency. So each time I pull out, I always make sure that as I'm creating the bundle, it's going to have the same consistency throughout. It's not going to be weak or too heavy, bulky on either side. It's going to have the same consistency. So I'll take the lock, I'll take the hair, and I'll wrap it opposite direction. It unwinds sometimes all the time it unwinds but that's okay you're just trying to get a consistent lock usually these bundles cost about anywhere between 43 to 50 dollars 53 dollars and if you went online to buy bundles or buy a bundle of locks for 20 locks sometimes you can get about you can pay 75 dollars for about 20 locks Again, opposite directions. So all these locks should be about the same. Now, this one is a little big. So I'll go through it and eliminate some of the hair. Opposite directions. And after a while, you know, since you know what size lock you like, it'll become like second nature to you. Create my bundles. This one will be a little long, but that's okay. Because sometimes you need a longer hair because people have shorter spots on their hair. So when you see me wrapping the hair around, that means that there was a weak spot in that bundle. Like right there, it's a weak spot. So I'll find a way to bring all that hair together so that the hair will be uniform in terms of strength. Because if you have a weak spot when you put the lock on, you, you have to repair it. So you may as well repair it before you get started. Opposite direction. It's kind of weird at first, but you'll get used to it. And you'll get used to saving a whole lot of money so what we want to do is save a lot of money, create our own locks, and not have to pay so much when we're trying to make money or we're trying to achieve an inexpensive lock. 
So this is not enough here, so I'll add more. So you want the consistency. So here it's loose, it's weak. Weak there. So you want to go through, find some more hair, and just wrap it around to create more strength. Again, you kind of counterclockwise, both hands. And you have your, your lock bundle. Again, some are longer, some are shorter, some maybe a little thicker, but all hair on someone's head when you're creating locks, they're different as well. So you, they don't have to be totally perfect. As long as they're consistent, it's going to be fine. See that? So it's consistent throughout. Consistent throughout. A little hair there. Kind of give it a little strength in the middle. So when you put the locks, when you build the locks, they won't be weak in areas. Okay? There you go. Let's go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This lock is a little longer. I can feel it. It's, it's a lot of hair. But that is okay. You want to make different size, different lengths as well. Different lengths as well. Sometimes you have little pieces of gray in there. And you just want to just take that out or you can leave it in. But it will appear as a piece of lint. Hair, consistent. Check it on the skin. If you can't see through it, it's fine. Any questions or comments, you can always leave them down below. And I will be happy to answer anything that you uh, want to know. If I know it, I'll let you know the answer. Again, you have your bundle. Can it come through? Take some hair out. Take hair out. So when you see me kind of go around the hair with light hair, that means I already feel that it's weak in some areas. So I'm just making the hair bundle stronger. Okay. Opposites. Opposite, opposite. So you've created all of your lock bundles. The next thing we're going to do, next thing, we're going to put on our gloves. I like the Ace Hardware gloves. Or you can find any glove that's kind of lightweight in terms of on this side of your hand, nothing heavy. Garden gloves. My gloves on. They have a light texture, like a really not smooth, but not rough. You can have a rougher texture. I'll, I'll do another video and show you how to really make locks tighter with a rougher texture. But this texture is kind of a medium texture. So I'll grab a lock bundle. This one already, I know it's going to have some different issues. So I'm going to show you how to correct them. I'll grab a little gel. Put it on the hair just a little bit, and I'll start twisting. 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 See how the lock develops? Just with a little gel on it. Twisting. Up and down the lock. You're going to keep one end of the lock open. This is the open end of the lock. So this lock is going to be a longer lock. And I will also show you how to lengthen the locks. Okay, so that's just with a little gel. The next thing I'm going to add is water. 
It's a little water. It'll make it a little tighter. A little tighter. So I go down the length of the lock. Make it a little tighter. A little tighter. You're going to leave a free end. And that is going to be where you're going to attach your lock. This end here. Now I've seen people use the tool, the crochet hooks, and this was less than 30 seconds. The crochet hooks take a long time. Okay, so the, the lock is getting more mature. I use a little holding spray to make the hair even more mature. Remember, free in on the end. This part is gonna be solid. The holding spray also ensures so this needs a little more water. The holding spray ensures that the gel doesn't stick to the gloves and you're able to freely move the gloves back and forth. So it'll eliminate any stickiness on the gloves. So whenever you feel like you have too much gel, a little holding spray will work. So this lock was created almost in a, within one minute Take a little less, give a little more. Boom, complete. But I'm not finished with the lock because I want it to be a little bit more um, consistent on this tip. So I'll just add a little more gel, just like a little dab. You have your lock. Your lock is complete. Put that to the side and let it dry. So here's your completed lock. Again, I can work a little harder on this area here with a little more moisture to make the lock a little bit more uniform. But I'm gonna keep moving. Put that to the side, let's pick another one. Again, dab a little gel, just a little, down the length of the lock, grab it and just palm roll it. Palm roll it or twist it together. All the way down. Add a little spray. Doesn't matter what you add first, what you add second, what you add third. This matters that you add all of these ingredients or you have all of these ingredients to get a nice firm lock. A little water and so you feel the lock coming together within like seconds so this is about I don't know 20 seconds or so I've completed a lock pretty much near completion again keep a free end this is where you're going to attach it doesn't have to be totally a long piece but you want to make sure you have enough to attach the free end to the hair. You might use a crochet needle, a crochet hook. You might use a, a sewing needle and thread. You might use a combination of all different techniques. There you go. The lock is pretty much complete. On the ends, if you want your ends to be a little tighter, you just add a little water. Just let me let you see this end real quick. Okay. And complete the ends. Sometimes people like the ends to be a little frizzy or a little soft so they can create styles. I like my ends to be a little tighter. And you'll just go take a little more time and go a little slower to produce your tight end. Okay. That's lock number two. Complete. It's a little shorter. One is longer, one is shorter. Again, you're not going to worry about the length because on a head of hair, you can reduce this if you're doing extensions. You can reduce one to make it shorter. Or when you're doing extensions on someone who already has locks, a lot of their locks are different lengths. And so you want to have different lengths when you're producing your locks. Let's do another one that I think I might have a little problem with because it's a little thin throughout. And I'm going to show you how to stretch this lock to make it longer.
a little gel, a little dab of gel. So I already feel like I have a lot of buildup on my gloves, even before I start it. So the, what I'll do when I feel like the, it's too uh, sticky, I'll spray a little hairspray on it, which has alcohol, which separates the gel and separates, reduces the stickiness, I would say. Not necessarily separates, but reduces the stickiness and pulls that hair together a lot quicker. So on this lock, I'm going to show you a little trick, a little secret that I do when clients want to have their locks longer. Sometimes it's not easy to make these locks longer when you're doing this technique. So I devise a little technique, a little hack, where I'll take the lock, a little water, Let's get it, let's get it to a lock look first, and I'll show you how to lengthen it. Again, the tip, fold that over. You can use a little gel, a little water, a little spray, and just pull that together to create a tighter tip. A little water, a little more water. You're going to be using this water gel depending on how you feel about the lock. Do you, you feel the lock is complete? Do you feel the lock is not complete? You're just going to keep working until you're satisfied with the way your lock looks and feels. Because you are the operator in control of what you want for your client or for yourself. Okay, this lock is complete. It's a different size. It's a little shorter. Again, it's complete. Actually, it's complete, but it has a little more work to go to do. So on this lock, I'm going to show you how to make it longer. So to make it longer, you're going to take the lock, you're going to just pull and twist. You're going to pull and twist. You're going to pull and twist. You're going to pull and twist. So if you go back over the footage, you'll see this lock is probably about an inch and a half longer. So you do that by just pulling in a certain area and extending. And what after you pull, you twist the hair a little more. So I can stand a little alcohol on it. Just a little, you don't need a lot. So you'll take it, pull, one pull, twist, Pull, twist, pull, twist. And you have lengthened your lock probably about an inch and a half or so. Lock still not complete. Need a little more water to make it a little more solid. So going a little faster because and I'm just trying to show you how it's done. Palm roll or twist, pull, and this lock is complete. Free in for adding the, it, it to your own hair or extend it to locks. I'm going to go out, come back, and show you a completed amount of locks in a minute. This is a long lock, a little longer. I use a lot of the, the um, lock material, so it's a lot longer than I want it to be. And when they're a lot longer, they're a little more challenging, but you can make them longer if you wish. 
remember gel water and holding spray and repeat gel water holding spray and repeat As you can see, the video hasn't been on that long. We haven't been filming that long, and you still have, you created a lot of vid, a lot of locks. I know I've tried to create locks with the crochet hooks, and those locks take at like about 10, five to 10 minutes to create each one, or even longer. Get that gel on there, get it worked in, get it worked in. You can also choose any side of the lock that you wish to make your open end. I notice this side is closed, so I'm going to use this as a closed end. You don't have to rub hard. You just have to rub. It doesn't have to be too hard. Again, your hairspray will separate the, the stickiness from the glove to make you have a smooth roll. Now these I'm not trying to stretch, but again, if you want your lock to be longer, you're going to stop it. Pull, twist, or palm roll. Stop it, pull, twist, or palm roll, and repeat. And your lock will become a lot longer. A little water. Less than a minute, your locks are complete. ready to go. A little gel. Not a lot, just a little. Palm roll. Palm roll. That's the first round. A little water. I use a, a spray bottle that has controllable mist. That means if you spray it one time, it'll just spray enough water and you don't have to keep pumping it. And that will help you when you're wearing gloves or when you're working with wet or when you're doing a whole lot of like hair work. You don't want to have to keep pumping the water. You just want it to be a little controlled. It costs a little more for the bottle, but it's worth it because it saves you time. I never really timed how long it takes to make one of these locks, but I would say it would take probably about a minute or a minute and a half if you have any challenges in terms of not enough hair or having to add more hair or lengthen it. Probably about a minute, minute and a half per lock. Another one. So you notice that first round, it formed pretty quickly. I'm going to have a little problems in here because it's a little thin in here. I'll show you how to fix that. That was all gel. Let's try a little water.
Afghan, palm roll, palm roll, palm roll. Slow it down. Palm roll, palm roll. Eventually, it'll it'll start forming. So, not to worry. It's a little loose. Add a little spray and tighten it up. This is how I do all of my extensions. I never pay for them. I just buy the hair and create them myself. Save like tons of money. And you can, if you like, um, charge the client less money as well. Pass the savings along to your client. They would appreciate it. They will appreciate it. A little spray, water. Hands don't get wet. Water doesn't come through the glove unless you are a little sloppy and get the water in the top part because this is like waterproof. So let me come back when I have a bundle created. And I'll show you the finished bundle. Lock complete. Okay, let's review. Our final product is our beautiful lock extensions. But what we started was with was just some a bundle of nappy or kinky or coily hair. We created the twist lock bundle, and then we ended up with our beautiful extensions. Now these extensions they come in different colors. They come in blonde. They come in brown, they come in auburn as well. But what I'm going to suggest is whenever you're doing your locks or you um, creating lock extensions, you might want to add a little pop of color into uh, the lock extension with the client. You might add a couple of um, blonde hair to their hair. You might want to add a couple of brown hairs, brown locks to their hair, to just give it like a little more natural appeal. Or you might even add a, a pop of auburn. Sometimes I do interchanging, I interchange the colors so that the client can have a little pop. Because a lot of times when you start bleaching the the actual hair, and the hair becomes um, very weak and um, doesn't hold up that well after time. It kind of gets a little damaged. So this was our lock extension. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and thank you for watching Shotzi, the master loctician. Okay, here I am at my studio, my lock studio, where I create my locks.